our thoughts are consciousness seeds. There is proof of this everywhere. There is this experiment that was done with water and there was intention that was put into the water. Now, what is intention? It's literally our thoughts. <laughs> That's what it is. And as this was put into the water, they could see the effects. They could see that it visibly changed, visibly changed their reality. So essentially what this is saying is that your thoughts can change your visible reality. Now, here's the thing about this. When you can gain control of your mind, you can make your world so beautiful. But when you do not have control of your mind and you are sending out these negative, um, evil, hateful, rage, anger, um, vengeful, frustrated thoughts out into the universe, when you're sending that out there, it's going to be returned to you and you can actually see the damage that is being done at a cellular level when we send these bad things out. Now, here's the thing about it. Through the law of cause and effect, through our thoughts, which are electrical, and through magnetism, which is then returned to us, these things that we have sent out, you know, sometimes to harm other people, they're returned to us. And there's no way that you can escape your thinking. So if you are sending out a thought like, you fool, or I want to kill you, out to somebody, it's going to come back to you. Now, not only does it actually come back to you, it affects you immediately. You cannot escape your thoughts. You cannot escape these consciousness seeds that you are planting out there in the universe. So when you send that hate out to somebody, sure, it is going to affect them. But what is it doing? Your body is made of mostly water. It is affecting you. You wish that it was all going to that other person, but it's not. It's going to you. Now, here is the thing about it. When you can gain control of your mind, you can create heaven for yourself here on earth. The only reason that you are suffering in hell is because of the way that you are thinking at the moment. It can go back and forth several times throughout a day. It could go back and forth a thousand times throughout an actual day between feeling like you're living in heaven and feeling like you're living in hell. And let me tell you, if you feel like you're living in hell, you need to examine your thoughts, your thinking, what it is that you're sending out, and just realize the damage that you're actually causing by that negative thinking. It is hurting you, and you can change this. All you need to do is gain control of your mind. 